Well done, clean, team clever cracker. Yeah, I'm so happy about that. That's yeah, a good result. It really is. We, we won the competition we entered. Yep, you had to throw the turtle into the box, or the basket. We had a basket. Yeah, there's, there's lots more rules, it's very complicated, but we'll be starting on that. We won. We won, which was really, it was a really, really hard feel, wasn't it? It was all frozen over. And plastic, what was that about? Weird. But we've got a celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, 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 tea, we have tea. We have tea. Well, oh, I had tea, it's all gone now. Yes, that was mine. Oh, that's, that's a shame. So I'll have to get something else. We should probably just get on with physics. No, oh, no, that wasn't physics, was it? It was, it was maths. No, it was the other one, biology. Oh, well, there should be some little clue in this room that says what we're doing. Yeah, like a, like a chemistry book or something. Or a title. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Reducing agents. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So before we did oxidising agents, so the man in the hat had an O. Yeah, now you might not have noticed because an agent is very secret. It's very, very secret, but now it's an H, which I want you to know. Reducing agents, which are all new. They are, but they're not as scary as they sound because you've done oxidising at AS, this is just the reverse. It is, the exact reverse. So you start with, say, an aldehyde, yep. which you'd get from oxidising a primary alcohol, yep, and so then you go in reverse. You just get a primary alcohol. Exactly. So that's. It's not as hard as it sounds, considering how, how new it is. Yeah. It's just thinking about the reverse. Yeah. But like before, we need to know what your reducing agent is. Yeah. So it's denoted by a H. It is actually um, NaBH4. So it's sodium tetrahydroborate, something like that. Something. It's got a long name. It's, it's unless they even use the old name before they make the new naming system because it's just shorter. Yeah. Sodium borohydride. Yeah. But that's what you use, and you have to know how you use it, but you can also do it to ketones. Yeah, so same thing, think about what it, what it was before, if you'd oxidise it to get the ketone, yeah. that's what your product is going to be. In this case, it is just a secondary alcohol. It is, so then you can... Carboxylic acids, there is no shortcut, as, as far as the book is concerned. We, there may well be, if you get to degree level and do chemistry, but as far as we're concerned, there isn't for carboxylic acid, yeah. reducing to that. But you do need to know a little bit more than what we've written so far. You do, you have to know a mechanism. Yeah. Now it's just going to be like a nucleophilic addition, which is what it is. So we'll have a nucleophile, we're going to add it. Yeah, yeah. exciting. An intro to it, was it? No, I'll think of a better one for next time. Yeah. Way back, there was a nucleophile. That was good. That was good, that's yeah. how we start things. Alright. So if we've got an aldehyde. Yeah, start with an aldehyde. Like we had before. Yep, I'm going to make it three carbon long for no re reason whatsoever. Ah, oh, okay, that works. You don't really need to know what the rest of it looks like because only this bit you won't have to know about. So yeah. you have our reducing agent. Do make sure in your exam you do draw all of the hydrogens. I'm not going to because it's not going to change during the mechanism, so it's just speedier, but make sure you do. Yeah, and this all takes place in water, as in this is an ionic compound. This splits into its positive part and its, uh, its negative part. Yep, it does indeed. You know what, I love cream eggs. I know, it's Easter soon in about four months. Yeah, so <laughs> look forward to that. Just having a cream egg. So this is the part that Dino that donates the nucleophile. So remember a nucleophile is something that attacks an electron deficient area. So why is why is that electron deficient when? Well, it's always the double bonds, why isn't it? Yeah. Look at the double bond. The electron's actually got the the electron, the oxygen's got uh, two lone pairs. It's going to be Essentially hogging all of the charge. Yeah. So what's going to happen is a small dipole is actually going to be here. Yeah. So that's going to be delta plus, and that's going to be delta negative. And this is what attracts our special hydrogen. So like this donates our nucleophile, which has a lone pair. A negative charge because of the lone pair. See, then the electrons are attracted to this electron deficient area. Yeah. So they move in that direction. The arrow showing the movement of electrons. So that's. If that hydrogen is to bond, this double bond can't exist. No, it has to break, so the electron, the electron, electrons from that double bond go to the oxygen. But this causes a bit of a problem, doesn't it? It does indeed. So if you think about what's going on here and draw the intermediate stage... Yeah. The hydrogen will bond, so we'll have a C bond to an H, another H. Yeah, so we've now got two H's. And it was senior bonded to an O, but the oxygen will be missing a bond that needs a bond of something. Yeah. So that will be negative. Yeah, I've only drawn one of the lone pairs because that's all that's necessary. Mm -hmm. Oxygen has two. So yeah. Just remember that. Now this whole thing, all of it, okay. was in aqueous solution, which is water. So in water, 
There's water, that was surprising. I know. I'm so, quite surprised. I was going to draw it in blue pen, but I seem to have lost that. I've got mine. Oh, that's alright then. So we've got this OH, OH, water bobbing about, just yeah. like that. Just bobbing about. And the hydrogen says, oh, there's an oxygen over there. It forgets the one it's attached to, it doesn't care about it anymore. Because this, this desperately needs love. Yeah. So what this can do... It's like adopting can, a tiger or something. This can donate its low pair yeah. to this hydrogen and yank it off the other one. The other one's fine with that, it just takes the double bond. It's, it's still in love with the other O. Yeah, it's it fine. an OH minus ion. And then that's attached to that. So, so then it yeah. becomes the alcohol, which is our final stage. I'll draw that. Yeah, I'll draw that. So then... Yeah. So then we're going to have the, the H is going to attach to that, which is an OH, which is what we wanted if you reduce an aldehyde. We did that just before the equation. And like when draw a second ago, we have the OH minus. The OH minus. And that might bond with, say, another H is in the water or with our positive sodium. To make sodium hydroxide. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? The possibilities are endless. They are. They're not, though, are they? No. They're quite finite. And also, we should enter more competitions. The possibilities of that are endless. You know, I had another competition. You yeah. throw stars into an oven. Oh wow, I saw the poster for that, it looks great. Mm -hmm.